Here I am with my favorite ampersand. So I want to talk about a little exercise today that will help you with open and closed loops when you're writing, when you're asking people questions, when you're trying to write a blog post, whatever it is in an interview process. So there's something called an open loop and a closed loop. So an open loop means that you ask someone a question or you're writing something and it can kind of go on and on in a circle. It could continue getting bigger and bigger and bigger until there's finally a solution. A closed loop is pretty much a yes or a no. There's dead end. You hit the wall. There's no place for it to go to. So if you're writing something or you're creating a survey or you're interviewing with someone or you're working on a speech or whatever it is, when you are at the end of a thought, a paragraph, a questionnaire, whatever it is, ask yourself and so. So let's go. Oh, this and so it broke. Right? It used to be my movie theater line. So and so. So ask yourself. And when a question goes on to the end, say, "Is um, I went to the street. I opened the door. I closed the door. It was locked." Okay. So then you could say, "And so and so." I couldn't get into the building because the door was locked. So I had to go to the store to get a key. And then you could say, "And so and so." I called Great Aunt Tilly on the phone there, and blah blah blah. So you see, you keep going and you keep going and you keep going until basically the thought ends into a yes or a no. So that will help you when you're writing a blog post, like what is the right ending? What is the right end of the question? If your and so takes you nowhere, that's the right end. Hope this helps. See you in the next Focus on Style quick tip, and I'm gonna go fix my ampersand. Talk to you soon, and don't forget, if you like this, hit the like button. If you want more, subscribe. See you soon.